all right guys welcome to my channel i hope you're doing well so let's jump into today's uh, topic which is kubernetes pod placement so basically you want to learn how to control the placement of your pods right so you want to like kind of like define where your pods will be created which nodes so if you want to learn how to do that then you know basically you want to understand how these methods work there's also pod affinity and pod anti-affinity which we're not going to go into okay first thing is actually labels so you know that you can create labels on your nodes your kubernetes nodes so the second screenshot here shows like the no the labels of the nodes in my container and it shows like uh, certain pre-existing labels that came uh, or that were created as part of the installation also uh, some labels like location India and location uh, location USA and environment and all these labels which I created actually these are custom labels that I created and I used a, a kubectl label command for that so you can label your nodes so the first method is node selector so which is a very simple method so basically you have uh, in your pod yaml file or whatever resource you're, you're working with, you can actually add a node selector section where you put the label, which is basically a condition that, uh, you know, that uh, is checked actually by the scheduler. For example, if you have a bunch of nodes, uh, only the nodes which satisfy this condition, this location equals USA will be, will, eligible, will be eligible and scheduler will place your pods in one of those nodes actually. So that's, uh, that's basically the, the way it works so you can have multiple uh, labels under node selector you cannot you cannot have multiple labels with the same key and different values so that will not work properly so that's the one thing uh, that you need to remember but you can have multiple labels uh, here's a node affinity and anti affinity so basically similar to node uh, selector section you have the affinity section under which you have the node affinity and you have this long phrase which is required during scheduling ignore during execution we'll come back to that basically you have uh, the same condition expressed in a different way and and this is sort of like a, a better or a clearer way to actually uh, define your condition where it clearly says you know I want like a node with this this key and this particular value and this is the in operator and you have a few more operators uh, operator options like in exist does not exist greater than less than uh, not in all these options actually so you have more options when it comes to node affinity so if you're using node uh, anti-affinity then you basically use not in and does not uh, does not exist option so you can use those two uh, operators in case of node anti-affinity so here is basically a table that shows uh, you can have the required phrase or the preferred phrase uh, and uh, one is actually a hard rule meaning like the conditions under the required uh, phrase is actually a mandatory condition and the conditions under the preferred phrase is actually a soft condition or like basically Kubernetes scheduler will, will try to find uh, a node based on the soft rules uh, if it doesn't find a node it will pick a node on its on its own actually randomly so here's an example where both the required and preferred conditions are used uh, required is again a mandatory condition preferred is where uh, you know you have a bunch of conditions actually and then you have uh, the weight associated with each condition actually right so it will go through each node in your cluster and it will uh, the Kubernetes scheduler will start assigning a total weight to your uh, nodes and the node with the highest weight will be selected uh, you know for placing your pod uh, while while pod is being created actually right so that's basically the point finally you have the node name node name is basically a straightforward approach where you put the node name next to the node name keyword and uh, but this is not uh, really useful in a cloud environment where the node names are unpredictable and uh, so this is probably going to be useful in your lab environments but this is another way you can accomplish the same outcome 
and finally like I just wanted to list out the use cases where you might need to use this uh, so quickly I'm gonna read through I'm not gonna go into uh, details of this so basically high availability node maintenance operations node isolation or pod isolation and uh, putting your pods based uh, in, in a certain set of nodes based on the security groups caching requirements etc so these are various options that are uh, various use cases where you might need to assign pods in a certain manner okay that's pretty much it I hope you like uh, this short video and uh, do check out my other Kubernetes videos and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you I'll see you guys in another video with a different topic thanks again bye